Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with an FG or Servant Analysis video. I will be reacting to the newest Servant that has been released, Theseus Saber. Uh, servant demonstration uh, look and look at his skill I look at his noble phantasm and give my impressions on this character just like I usually do now point to note uh, he is a three star and uh, I wasn't expecting him to be a three star you know like I kind of gave the, the, we got a little sneak peek before uh, and now he has been released I think on the JP banner so um, that was a surprise I wasn't expecting him to be a three star but let's see, let's see what this, like, you know, like how strong this character is. And we did get to see his Noble Phantasm before, but we'll get a better understanding of his kit now that we finally have him. All right, so as always, I will be re reacting to the demonstration and the video for that, uh, the, the link for that video will be provided in the description box if you want to check it out. And uh, yeah, let us get started then. All right, so this is Theseus Saber Sermon Demonstration. Here we go. Oh, is this his ascension art? Okay. I really like his um, noble phantasm. It's a very unique one. You know, like him going through the maze with the with the string. All right, let's see. Okay. Alright. Oh! Okay, that's cool. Okay, wow. Damn! Alright, you know what? Very good. Um he was a he's a three star, so I was like, okay. Let's look at his animations. His animations are quite good for a three star, obviously. Like Sugitani Zenjugo's animations were also really good. <laughs> okay. Bro, he's more like a berserker than a saber. I love the application of the thread. <laughs> and the the ground is like breaking apart. Wow. Nice. Okay. Yeah, this was good. nice okay you know what i'm i'm actually impressed um yeah his his animations are very i guess you could say unique it's very unique um with the thread and everything all right that was new damn oh boy Okay. Oh, he's saying Ariadne. I think his noble son doesn't name is also Ariadne or something. Okay. Okay. これは僕の選択だ。了解了解。うん。栄光と勝利のために我が意図よ。導き<笑> <laughs> 
Right. His attacks have a lot of hit in it. So I think, you know, like NP generation will be, you know, smooth. Okay. Alright, let's see what he has to say when getting summoned. Mm, there he is. Three star saver. Okay. Saver, Tesex. Hmm. Okay, he can do quite a lot of things. Alright. He's like, yeah, I can do quite a few things. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's like if I get more muscular, I'll become like Orion. Orion. <laughs> okay. Gantlet to Change the gauntlet? うん。なかなかにいい感じだ。うん。腕が残撃に耐えられるだけで戦術は大幅に変わるものだからね。オッケー。ライト。ライト、ノーチェンジ。次を楽しみに待つといい。いや、エンディングライクネクストワンウィル
um, her animations were pretty good. I really liked it. You know, like I'm, I, I have to say I really enjoyed the, the animations. Uh, kind of more than um, uh, who was the other character that was released? Um, oh no, he, she was the only character, wasn't she? She and um, uh, Ptolemy. Yeah, yeah. Oh wait, am I forgetting someone? I feel like I'm forgetting someone. Wait a minute. Okay, what? Just a sec. Let me just check. God damn. Oh yeah, these two are the only one. Okay, my brain was working in a weird way. Because I was like, maybe someone else was also released. No, nobody else was released. Only um, Ptolemy and Sugitani, yeah. Yeah, so there you go. Like I said, so uh, I also thought even then that, oh, will Sugitani, you know, like the character animations will be good it was good this one i was also like yeah will it be good will they provide like put the same effort yeah it's it's pretty good you know it's pretty decent i like i liked the the way they did it especially with the whole thread you know like the way they use the thread and everything um it's pretty damn good um i like the application of the thread where in every single attack he like does something with the thread most of the attack not every single attack <laughs> And my favorite were obviously the one where he, you know, like, rotates the thread. And then there was the other one where he, like, throws the thread and it, like, becomes like a web. Oh, there was another one. That was one also quite good where he makes, like, a thread, like, webbed thread. And he jumps, like, it, on it like a trampoline. <laughs> that was good. So, yeah, uh, overall, I like, I really like his animations. And I'm, I'm glad they're, they're quite nice. It obviously like i think like obviously these characters will be easy to get the three star characters but you know like even though most people will probably not be using these characters unless and until you know they really need them um i'm i'm glad that he and both sugitani have like nice animations um and his noble phantasm we kind of saw it in the previous video i, I made another video looking at his noble phantasm and I also like his noble phantasm. It's it's quite nice where he f goes through the maze and uh, follows the threat and goes and attacks the enemy. So yeah, overall I'm I'm pretty happy. You know, it's good. I was surprised though. I was thinking like he was probably going to be a four star. He is a three star. That's interesting. I wasn't expecting him to be a three star. <laughs> that again was a surprise. <coughs> Either way, that was good. Now. Um, let me look at his skills and his, oh, before that, let me look at his ascension arts. I, you know, I, I know who uh, Theseus is. I, I checked it out in the previous video only. And uh, he's the person who slayed the Minotaur. He went, uh, and uh, I think like someone in the comments mentioned that Ariadne was the one who gave him the thread. And he followed the thread and, uh, you know, like, uh, yeah, and then slayed the Minotaur and all that. So... So yeah, like I, I do kind of know a little bit about him. So yeah, let's look at his ascension arts now. All right, the first one is this one, which is, yeah, this one we've already seen. Oh, interesting, I didn't realize this. He actually has a club in his hand. Oh, I didn't realize that. You see, like his hand has like a club, but the, uh, the next hand uh, ascensions, the club changes to like a maze. So his hand has a club here, and what is this behind him? Oh, that's the thread, isn't it? Ah, that's the thread, okay. Right, and obviously in his hand, he has a ball of yarn, or thread, whatever. Okay. Now, I have to say, his armor is, armor is kind of interesting. I, you know what, when, not, I'm not talking about now, but when he was shown, in the beginning, when I saw him in a video, or like I kind of like saw the thumbnail, at the very first when he was like, you know, like he's, he, he was coming on the internet, he like, you know, his videos were coming on the internet, people were making videos on him. I saw the thumbnail and I first thought that's a girl. And then I was like, okay, that's an interesting outfit for a girl. And then I went in and I realized like, oh no, this is not a girl, this is a guy. So, <laughs> I don't know, his... His armor is kind of, like, one side is just, I don't know what to say about this, but, you know, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> but anyways, his armor is pretty good, you know, like, I quite like his armor. 
even though one side of it is like not, not there, you know. Um, so his armor is, yeah, it's it's pretty nice. I like the yellow and the the black, like you know, like color. And uh, yeah, and then obviously he has his yarn, his thread. He has a club in his hand. And there you go. And in the the background, you can see it's probably the labyrinth, the Minotaur's labyrinth. That was the first one. And the next one is where he gets a few upgrades. As you can see, he has a gauntlet. And I think this is... Ah, you see, like, I, 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 I was trying to see where the yarn is. And I was like, oh, wait, he doesn't have a yarn here. No, he has a yarn here. It's kind of entangled in his hand, you know, in his gauntlet. You can see in this part, he has the yarn entangled. And uh, in the gauntlet as well, it's entangled. So that's interesting. Okay. Um... Not only that, he has changed his club into a mace. It's like a proper, like, you know, wooden kind of, not wooden, but like a metal thing. Yeah, his armor has not enough, like, you know, don't have much changes. Uh, he only has a gauntlet and he changed his, uh, like, mace, uh, his club into a mace. That's the only difference here. So, yeah. And then we have this one, the third ascension, which is the most beautiful one. I really like this. Um, first of all, the background is beautiful. You know, it's like like flowers are blooming, butterflies are <laughs> flying, rainbow is there, and then there's like like snow-clad mountains behind him. It's beautiful. Also, he has a little bit of change in his gear. He talks about it, this in the third ascension and lines where he says like, oh, I I think that he says something like I'm take I've taken this from him. By him, he means Asterios. And he says something like, oh, like, I'm using this. I wonder if he'll... Something, like, you know, related to that, he kind of says. So, it's pretty obvious that he's taking it from Asterios because there's, like, two horns, you know, on the side of his gauntlet. And, uh, yeah. Again, the armor hasn't really changed, but he has draped on a cape. He has a little flower crown on his head, which is quite nice. And, yeah. You know, it's a it's a it's a very nice ascension art. I I really love this ascension art. It's it's so it looks so peaceful, <laughs> you know, especially in the background. Like it's so colorful and bright. I've said this before as well. Any ca character ascension or anything which has a lot of bright colors, I immediately like. So the fact that this ascension art has so many colors in it, with the rainbow colors, the butterflies flying around, the 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 blue, red, green, uh, white, purple flowers, you know. And uh, yeah, I, I really like this Ascension Art. It's very pretty. And uh, then we have the final Ascension Art, which is this one. And uh, yeah, you can see he's just laying on the ground. And there's a butterfly on his head. That's kind of cute. And yeah, you can see the thread still in his hand. Yeah. And like I said, here in this Ascension line, he kind of says something about... Uh, how to make the world beautiful is to have more people who appreciate the beauty of the world but that also means the reverse where you have to take care of the people who are opposite and who you know don't appreciate the world and he says that I'm glad that Asterius changed from you know someone like that to someone who can appreciate the world because obviously now in Chaldea Asterius is a pretty chill person <laughs> yeah so there you go. Now, let me look at his skills. <clears throat> Alright, the first skill is called Ariadne's Prayer, C. Um, increase on arts performance by 20% for 3 turns. Okay, arts performance by 20% for 3 turns. Charges on MP Gorge by 1. Oh. Increase on critical attack chance by 10% for 3 turns. Okay, so interesting. I wasn't expecting like an NP, uh, you know, like dodge up by one in a three star character skill set. Okay, um, so the first one where it's like the arts increase is 20% at level one and a 30% at level 10. Yeah, I think. Uh, oh no, wait, wait a minute. Oh, it also increases NP by, you know, like 10% at level 1. Okay, and at 20% at level 10. All right. 
and charges increases charge by one by charge i'm meaning it means the np like you know the overcharge i'm guessing yeah um so okay so this is a oh and also uh, in, increases on critical attack chance by 10 percent um charge per turn on self three turns Oh no, wait, wait, this was, uh... oh no, no, this is kind of included. Oh, this is not the, right, right. Okay, wait a minute. Let me, let me, like, you know, let me repeat that. Um, increase on R's card performance by three turns and increase NP and Grand Star acquisition status every turn. This is the correct one. That was the NPC one. Okay, I was reading the wrong one. Um, so apply car, uh, like uh, R's up to self, 20% at level one and 30% at level 10. Uh, minimum cooldown is six, uh, eight to six. And then we have charge NP for self uh, by 10% for uh, at level one and 20% at level 10. And then we have star spar turn on self for three turns. At level one is five, at level 10 is 10. Yeah, there you go, that's the correct one. I was reading the wrong one. I was reading the uh, NPC one. Uh, the NPC one is charges its own NP gods by one because you know, like in when it's an NPC, it has like the charge gods, one, two, three, four, that's why that was the wrong one never mind so all right this is a uh, kind of an offensive kind of a support you know like it, it by offensive it increases uh, arts card uh, effectiveness and uh, uh, crit stars per turn and by support it increases np charge a little bit okay um right if you have like a not limit broken kaleidoscope this will probably help you the 20 percent extra charge will help you to you know reach that level even though I don't know why you'd use Kaleidoscope on him, because I doubt he can loop, he's a single target. Uh, anyways, uh, okay, now the next one. The next one is called Intuition Labyrinth, is that the name? Instinct Labyrinth, yeah, B++. Okay, so this one, increase star concentration of own art scar three turns and increase critical power of art scar three turns. Oh, this is like one of those, um, you know, like where it g gains the, you know, like crit stars for the arts card, that kind of thing. Okay, apply, uh, yeah, apply star weight up for arts on self for three turns. That is, it's going to, um, yeah, critical attack chance at level one, 300 percent, at level 10, 500 percent. Okay, apply critical damage up for arts card. On self again three turns at level one thirty percent uh, damage up at level six fifty percent damage up and grain critical stars at level one five at level ten fifteen okay fifteen critical stars it's quite quite good um okay so it's like the one of those you know like it it helps you suck up the critical uh, the the crit stars on the arts card it's going to increase your critical damage of your arts card and it's going to give you a little bit of critical stars as well so it's like that all right okay so interesting it's a good skill now the next one is called martial arts reward or martial arts retribution <clears throat> excuse me um okay so what this does is apply uh, increase on attack power three turns reduce attack power for single enemy three turns obtain critical stars Apply attack up on self for three turns. At level one is twenty percent. At level ten is thirty percent. Okay, and apply attack down on one enemy three turns again. At level one ten percent. At level ten twenty percent. And gain critical stars is level uh, is five at level one and fifteen at level ten. Again, we are getting critical stars. Excuse me. Okay, so you know what? He's quite good. Like. For a three star, he has a quite a solid kit, isn't? Doesn't she? Like, doesn't he? For example, the second and the third are obviously offensive, and it gives you crit stars as well. So you can literally use the second one uh, if you have some arts card on your deck. Second one increase your arts card damage, and uh, the the third one is also going to increase your attack by twenty percent. So the first one is increasing your uh, critical damage for arts card, is giving you a little bit of crit stars. At the same time, the third one also increases the attack, so that also helps for your offensive ability, and it also gives you a few crit stars. 
yeah so and obviously the first one is increasing your arts card effectiveness which again is going to help for the okay very okay very good so you know i yeah i think it's, it's quite good so basically what you do is at your first uh, okay you know what before i talk about it let's look at his noble phantasm um right so his noble phantasm is called ariadne uh apoli okay wait a minute ariadne apolio uh, apolio the hades and thus the thread leads to extremity okay there's quite a few things happening in his in his noble phantasm okay increases on critical damage by 50 percent for three turns 50 percent whoa three turns Increase on damage against demonic beast servants by 50% for one turn. Okay, this 900% damage to one enemy deals 150% extra damage to giant enemies, which makes sense since he fought the Minotaur. Increase on critical attack chance by 20% for three turns. Wow, okay, his Noble Phantasm is also quite good. Interesting. Wait, so, okay, I see. So what you do with him is you, like I said, you f just put on a kaleidoscope on him. Uh, even if it's not limit broken, it's fine. Just put it on. Um, quickly charge his noble phantasm on the first turn. Use the first skill. The first skill is going to increase your noble phantasm charge by 20%, which is going to, again, uh, make your, if you have kaleidoscope on, make it like 100%. So use that. And then use the second and the third skill as well if you want to. You can you can keep the third skill, I guess, because it's going to help you gain a few crit stars. So the second and the third skill both give you crit stars. I think, yeah. So so basically, first you have to use his first skill, then the noble phantasm. The noble phantasm is in, going to increase the critical damage by a fifty percent for three turns. And not only that, the second skill also gives you critical damage up. The third skill gives you normal attack up. The first skill gives you arts card effectiveness up. So if you hit the enemy after using a noble phantasm by an arts card, you're going to give you can deal a huge amount of damage because you know um, arts card effectiveness up. You're getting you're getting critical damage up. You're getting um, attack up, and you're getting an extra fifty percent crit damage up. From the, from the noble phantasm and if the enemy is a giant enemy you're getting some more extra damage in you know 150 percent extra damage also if the enemy is a demonic beast uh, enemy then you're getting another 50 percent up damage for one turn through the noble phantasm though that those two are no through the noble phantasm uh, so the noble phantasm can deal a lot of um, damage to uh, demonic beast servant and the giant servant. Not only that, after the noble phantasm, your next few attacks for three turns is going to like get like an extra fifty fifty uh, percent, I think. Yeah, extra fifty percent crit damage. Yeah, you can actually if you time it right, I feel like you can deal a lot of damage with him. However, we have to keep in mind that he is a three star, so obviously his upper like you know level for attack will be a little bit lower you know i guess that can be countered if you do grail him but like i don't know i don't think anyone will probably use their grails on three star characters some people do uh, unless and until like you know you, you love this character extremely i doubt anyone will do that you know but if you grail him i guess you can increase his upper attack limit so that will help a little bit i guess uh but you know like Usually his attack will be a little less since he's a three star. Uh, other than that, I feel like you can. He he's quite good. He, he's very good. Yeah, I don't know. That's just what I think. All right, uh, let me look at his passives. I forgot to look at his passives because oh, there's not many. You know, increase debuff resistance and increase on quick performance. Why quick performance? What? Quick performance. That's a weird one to have. He's a art scar character, so. Right, anyways, um, 
And yeah, that was that. So yeah, overall, I think for a three star character, he's pretty good. He's quite good. And uh, yeah, um, overall, he seems like a decent character, a decent servant. Uh, either way, that was it. Like I said, I just, this is what I think. I might be wrong on my judgment. If I am, let me know. Because again, like I, uh, like, you know, like this, what I'm trying to figure out here is from translated, you know, skill, like things, the whole thing hasn't been translated. So I'm trying to figure out looking at that. So, you know, a few informations I might have made a mistake on. But other than that, you know, overall, I think he's a very solid character. Um, so that was it, guys. That was my reaction to his use, Saber. And uh, yeah, um, I do know another character has been teased. I've been seeing her picture on the internet now and then. Um, I think the, the, the character is Defon, isn't it? I'm, I think so. Now, since I'm not really sure if she'll become an actual character or she'll still stay an NPC for now, uh, maybe in the future she'll become a character. Who knows? Because, you know, sometimes uh, FGO kind of keeps the character in NPC form for quite a while. For example, I remember um, Marie Antoinette, of, uh, I think Avenger. You know, I've, I remember seeing her in, I think, like the previous year. And there still hasn't been any, like, you know, like, thing, any, any kind of uh, information about her. I, I actually thought she'll become a character in the future, uh, you know, like a playable character. Many other characters like that as well who are still NPCs, like, you know, like in Lost Bell, um, Lost Bell 5, you know, there's so many characters in Lost Bell 5 who has the potential of becoming actual playable characters. So who knows, maybe this character will also be like that. Not really sure. But, you know, like, I kind of saw a few of her, like, pictures and stuff. She looks pretty, she looks pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, so let's see if she becomes a character. You know, obviously, I'll, I'll make a video on her as well. But other than that, um, uh, yeah, that was my reaction to this character. Obviously, um, he's a three star, so I'm pretty sure everyone will get at some point of time. So I'll end this video here. Thank you for watching, guys. This was my reaction to Theseus. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below. Anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, I'll check them out. And yeah, so that is it. And thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next FGO video. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.